Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekend reading for, let's see, April. Oh my goodness. Is it seriously? Yeah, the 28th through the 30th. Oh my goodness. Um, so if you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind it's a general reading, so some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into your reading. This is going to be a short, quick reading for the weekend. So let's see what messages come up for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so... Friday, you've got gossip, ooh la la, a little bit of conversation, somebody's telling you something, your neighbor might be engaging with you, uh, or telling you some gossip, or you're hearing something through the grapevine. Saturday, you have home, property, real estate, and business, and Sunday, you've got a fair mail showing up here okay i'll show that to you in a sec all right let's get into the tarot and see what the messages are so friday a little bit of gossip right virgo somebody's somebody's either talking about you or talking about somebody else to you okay let's see what shows up Ooh, nine of wands Ooh, virgo looks like somebody might be um hmm telling you about somebody who is Okay, they just said there's somebody who is telling someone that they are having a really hard time and they're telling this person so it would get back to you. Okay, interesting. Okay. Two of Swords. Virgo, what the heck is happening on Friday? Okay. Queen of Wands. You guys could probably hear my grandson singing in the bathtub in the background. <laughs> Say hello, everybody. Um, okay, so there's definitely a queen of wands here who is feeling defeated. Feeling Okay, queen of wands can be male or Virgo, or gosh, male or feminine, uh, masculine or feminine energy. This, this person is completely, like, devastated. They've hit rock bottom. They are, it looks like... I don't know if this is somebody that you've blocked and they're like really upset about that or someone that is feeling um, left out in the, like no one's talking to them. There's something going on, Virgo. You're going to get some news about a person, um, somebody, it, it feels like someone you might be connected to knows this person and you're going to hear through the grapevine that this person is either surrendering or they feel betrayed or they just have this energy of um, like completely defeated and um, really upset that there is no communication between you. And I feel like this might be a flying monkey or another person is coming to you and telling you about this person, okay? Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And this person is like just hitting rock bottom. You're either going to hear it from someone or you're going to see it somewhere or get wind of this or get this information, okay? Um... Hmm. As far as love goes, it feels like if you had a connection with someone in that energy, this person is um, coming out of their comfort zone, trying to get in a better place, and yeah, let me see, one more card for Friday, okay, oh, hmm, something to do with breadcrumbing, something to do with not treating somebody well. Not treating maybe you, treating you well or treating you right. Somebody that was breadcrumbing is like going to stop doing that. They're going to come in and um, they, they, somebody wants you to know, Virgo, uh, that they are like, they're making a decision here that they, they're, but they're not telling you directly. You're going to hear it through the grapevine or you're going to have somebody's going to tell you this. Um, could be from a neighbor or someone you're close to or a friend, like a secret. You're going to find out that this person is not doing well. Okay, they are pretty much defeated. They are, like, have hit rock bottom. And I don't know what the purpose, let me just ask, what is the purpose of this person or of Virgo knowing this? What is the purpose? Why does Virgo need to know this? 
Why is this coming to Virgo on Friday? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Why is this coming to Virgo on Friday? Ooh, okay. Ooh, the Emperor. They're coming out of isolation. Somebody wants, okay. Somebody's like bossing up or they're getting their ish together. This person wants you to know this, that they're like bossing up. Okay, there's the lovers, yeah. Um, this person wants to reconcile with you or connect with you. Like they've, they've str they're straightening out their ish, basically. And they want you to, like somehow, they want you to see it or they want you to know it or hear it or find out about it. Um, why? So that you will try to like make a decision to connect with them or reconnect with them in some way um, so that you would approve or so that you would see that they are going from like a queen or a king to an emperor or an empress. <laughs> okay, Virgo. So Friday looks very interesting. Okay, let's take a look at Saturday. You've got home, property, real estate, you could be buying a new home or uh, relocating or selling a home, uh, moving from an apartment into a home or a home into an apartment. Um, all right, let's see what else is going on here. Okay. And it's a steal. Virgo, it looks like you might, if you're in the market to purchase a home um, or to sell a home, like it's a steal. That's what I'm hearing. It's a really good buy. So Saturday, if you're kind of browsing around or you might set a price for sale for a property and it's like a really good, like you're hitting the mark with that price that you come to where you're going to have like people lined up at the door trying to, trying to make offers. Um, are you going to find something that's going to be, oh wow, this is like a blessing here, a gift. This is like grace. Yeah, Virgo. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're definitely going to get an offer. Okay, um, somebody also <clears throat> might be, <coughs> excuse me, as far as love goes, um, asking you to either either buying you a home, wanting to buy you a home, asking you to move in with them, or you might be doing that, or making that offer, um, sneaking away, stealing away. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, somebody, I feel like because you feel trapped in something or you're just like not happy where you are, if you're looking to relocate, I feel like you're going to find something um, and either someone's going to make an offer or a really good um, or accept an offer that you make, okay? Um, you're being like given an absolute like reprieve here to find like something that you really want, like the perfect home. Um, or something that's going to be like a blessing for you. Okay. You also have someone knocking at your door who, um, <laughs> someone's showing up at your door on Saturday. That's what I feel here. And I feel like, um, you're definitely going to have somebody trying to, uh, all right, this is a separate message, like a door to door salesman who's trying to sell you something. And, um, they're just saying, don't buy it. <laughs> If someone's knocking at your door, like, I think, like, back in, like, in the, like, in October, some kid came to my door trying to sell, like, mums, and they were doing it for a school, and I was like, I, I gave him cash, right, because I'm stupid, but I gave him cash, and I never got the flowers, and I'm like, how's an 11-year-old gonna, like, rip me off, but I never got the flowers, it's kind of like that situation, just, I don't know. Trust but verify, I feel like Virgo. But um, yeah, and there's like there's definitely a love offer. There could be something coming in with someone if you're dating someone where they make that proposal like, hey, why don't we move in together? You know, that kind of energy. Or you making that to someone and it gets accepted, okay? So you've got a fair male showing up here on Sunday. Okay, so this could be someone that you're connecting with. Fair male is lighter than darker skin or hair, um, lighter eye color. This could be uh, someone you're connecting with romantically. It could also be um, connected to a family member, sibling, a child, a grandchild. Let's see. We've got the Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Some are going to spend time with a son. 
if you have a son okay um, and it's gonna be really really nice on Sunday I'm hearing maybe you'll go out and have dinner or drinks and also um, or spending time with a friend or a romantic partner on Sunday and oh wow Queen of Swords is here yeah okay so we've got Gemini Aquarius Libra Virgo Taurus Capricorn they don't have to have light hair and light skin it's just some part about them is lighter than darker like their eyes might be light and they could have dark hair you know there's just either they're all light or something about them um, is lighter than darker okay let me see here all right so some of you have um news good news about um maybe you have a son or a daughter coming home from school also good news about that like a wish come true um, or they're coming to visit could be news that they're coming this weekend or you get the news this weekend that they'll be coming home soon as well and let me see what else um, and some of you have a connection so Virgo um, feminines you could be connecting with an earth sign and Virgo masculines you could be connecting with an air sign okay let me see so let me see yeah there's going to be somebody showing up here bringing some good news to you for sure oh hmm they might be helping you with a financial situation as well um and also i'm hearing somebody's missing you too sunday um someone feels lost without you and um or just want to be in your presence and i feel like there's going to be some communication about that on sunday you guys this is going to be a really short reading okay yeah somebody's definitely secretly missing you as well and you're probably going to get some text messages or some calls um to go out or to get together have some kind of reunion with you as well so expect some kind of message or communication on sunday there's a particular person that really really wants to see you and um they secretly have been feeling very kind of like lost without you uh, they just need you on sunday i just want to get one more card okay all right so for some of you, this someone who's like coming in pretty fast, Virgo, and it could be um, a very physical connection as well. Someone's very passionate about you, but um, there's also like, it's, it's going to happen very quickly. Let me see what your overall message is here for the entire weekend. Okay, so you've got the, the moon. So there's going to be some light shed on some things, some secrets or some things overall that you... Um, are going to start to notice okay very little you're gonna there's some small secrets that are going to be revealed to you over this weekend in a lot of different ways okay things you're going to have some like aha moments like some things are going to show up and it's going to be like oh oh wow you know um uh, it feels like an unexpected slight reveal or unexpected unexpected slight reveals over the weekend okay things that you maybe we're not sure about but had hunches and i feel like these things are going to start getting confirmed for you um and with the magician here um this is going to be like what you were thinking what you've been thinking all along is going to come to reality okay so if you were asking like are you going to get that place is there someone missing you um you know are, like all the questions that you have been asking yourself or requesting tarot card readings i feel like these things are going to be revealed to you in positive ways okay i just want to get one more and then i'm going to end out the reading here one more card for virgo what else does virgo need to know overall message okay virgo yes things that you thought were a particular way are going to actually present themselves in a whole new light okay um it's it's really too 
you're going to be a little bit surprised by some of the things that you find out as well. And I feel like you've been really patient, um, trying to just kind of let things fall into place. You've been let, you've been trusting the process. And I feel like this weekend, you're like if you've been asking for signs or if you've just been patient i feel like this weekend you're going to get some like little light bulbs this kind of feels like he's having a light bulb moment here little light bulbs are going to like some little aha moments are going to come and confirm um either what you knew or what you've been waiting to find out what you've been waiting to hear so the weekend looks pretty positive virgo and i hope that all of this comes true for you i'm going to leave your reading there also remember i have casey and brandy are now officially um tarot readers on my channel so if you go over to my website moonpietarot.com the link is in the description box you can click on their um on the staff section you can click read about them and you can request book tarot card readings with them all right you guys so thank you so much i will see you next i'll see you on sunday hopefully friday night if i if i can be here i'll be here but if not i will see you sunday join my channel become a member so you can join the live stream and pop in and ask a question it only costs 9.99 a month that's 33 cents a day all right, and you can pop in and ask all the questions you want, and I'll pull cards for you Sunday, the live stream, 1 p.m. Eastern, okay? So the link is below in the description box to become a member of my channel. And if I don't see you there, I will see you Sunday evening. Have a fantastic weekend, Virgo. Bye.